For this build we will need one Arduino Nano, two RGB LED modules, a cable or wires, and a cover for the LEDs. Solder the two centers of the modules together, connecting the ground, digital in and out, and the DC terminals. Next, solder a black wire to the ground terminal, a green wire to the digital in, and a red wire to the four to seven volt terminal. On the nano board, solder the green wire to one of the digital pins. We will use pin four for this example. Solder the black wire to the ground on the board, then solder the red wire to the five volt pin on the board to complete the wiring. Place the wired RGB modules into the front cover, then place on the back cover with the wiring exiting from the bottom. To have the cable exiting from the rear of the housing, place the wires through the back cover before soldering the wires. With the cover closed, press fit two M3 nuts into the rear of the cover. Screw in the bolts from the front cover to close the front case. At this stage, the case is closed and ready to be mounted. To take it one step further and neaten the display, we can make a Perspex cover. With the screws removed, place the Perspex cover over the housing. Then reinstall the two bolts to complete the display. To mount the LED display to the Fnatic wheelbase, I have created and 3D printed a mount. Place the mount over the front of the wheelbase and screw in two M6 screws. Take the display and pass the bolts through the two holes on the mount. Place two M3 nuts on the back to secure the display. The mount can easily be adjusted to various heights. Download and install the SimHub software, then open the application. To set up the RGB display, click on Arduino Display, then on Hardware Settings. Click on Arduino Setup Tool, name the new device, then scroll down to WS2812. In the box, adjust the number of LEDs. For this build, we have used 16 LEDs. Adjust the digital pin to number 4 to match the Arduino. Select the correct communication port of the board, then select the nano board and click on upload. The newly set up device will now appear under the detected hardware. To adjust the LED colors and function, click on the LED layouts. Scroll down to the RGB LEDs and make adjustments to enable blinking or to change colors. The display is now all set up and ready to use in game.